What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Allie and welcome to Allie Land. In January, I decided to do a no buy, low buy, beauty bank type of shopping experience. Um, <clears throat> I have a lot of makeup. I have like a $50,000 makeup collection. Um, and I figured I would put myself on a low buy based off of my empties. In 2023, I had a bunch of empties, which totaled up to 42.15 um, points. Obviously, those 0.15 is basically just for my own math because I get certain point values for certain things. I will insert a photo of what my values are um, for when I finish something. So like a makeup item, it's one point. If I hit pan, it's half a point. I finished a full size fragrance it is half a point finish hair care skin care body care half a point uh, hand soaps and hand lotions are a quarter of a point foil packets um, it is a fifth of a point mascaras are a quarter of a point if I finish an eyeshadow it's one point if I finish makeup remover items it's half a point and if I feel it finish a nail item it's two points so I Um, so I have an update for the first quarter. Um, I don't intend on buying anything at the end of the month or later in the month. So I'm going to go ahead and do this now for January to March. Um, for everything that I finished or emptied, um, in this first quarter, everything I received as a gift or PR and everything that I bought myself, my birthday and Valentine's day are both in February. So I did get a lot of gifts um, that I won't count against my bank itself because I'm not counting gifts or PR, um, things that were given to me against my point values. But if I bought them myself, if it's something that I picked out myself, then I am obviously going to deduct that. So we're going to start with my empties um, and we're going to add that up to the total point value. And then I will go through and show you the, guy, the things that I um, received as gifts that aren't going to count as my point against my point value and then I'll show you the things last the things that I bought and today I have an actually very special section for the spotlight segment so I hope you guys decide to stick around if you're not already subscribed consider subscribing like this video and let's go ahead and get on to the update so I did have a decent good first quarter um, I hit two pans, so I'm going to get a point back for the two pans that I was able to hit in the last quarter. Um, I'm not counting some of the stuff that I had because there were things that already had pan and then I repressed them and then they got pan again. So I'm not counting things like that. I'm not counting things that I frankened and I ended up hitting pan. Um, these are things that didn't have pan when I started this beauty bank thing and now have pan because the goal itself was to hit pan. So the first thing that I have that I was able to hit pan on um, over the first quarter was my Catrice blush box in golden coral. This was in my This Is Fantasy project. And then I also was able to hit pan in my level up level one project, um, which was the first shade here called Rock Out. I did drop it and shatter two of these shades, so I'm not counting those um, into my values or whatever. So that is two pans that were hit, so that gives me a whole other point. I will total up all the points at the end of each section as well. I also finished um, a makeup setting spray in my That's Expensive. I finished a e.l.f. Um, loose face setting powder. And then, um, spoiler for my That's Expensive, I did finish the um, Too Faced Super Fine um, Eyebrow Pencil. So I do have four points rolling in for those five makeup items. Um, I have one nail item finished. Let me dig through to grab it. I have one nail item finished. This is going to be a little iffy, but I'm going to give it to myself. Um, it was these Dashing Diva Magic Press short nails. This was in a like Halloween themed um, like style. Um, I was able to finish every single nail. I did wear and use every single nail. I mixed them all up um, with other nails that I had. So I was able to completely finish this one up. And yeah, let me grab all the skincare, body care items. 
Um, and we will do foil pack at last because those are the point values that are a little weird. Okay, so for hair care, I was able to completely finish um, two different viral or color depositing um, conditioners from when I had green hair. Finished a blue and a green, so I will give myself points for those. I also... It's going to make a mess. I also was able to finish um, two um, fragrances. These are the mini ones. Um, they're not a full size, but they are a mini. Do I have a point value system for mini? I'm going to count these as a sample. Uh, well, this was full size. This was the full size of this one. I'm going to count this one as a sample, though. Um, this is a spoiler for my D&D project. Um, I haven't had an update yet, so this one will be staying in so I can update the other project. But I do have two perfumes finished. I was also able to finish um, my Hemp's Body Lotion, my um, Bath & Body Works. This is the Black Raspberry Vanilla Shower Gel. I did finish this Epsom um, Bath Salt Sport um, Epsom Salt Soap. And I also finished these Shower Melts from when we were sick. These are Tim Burton Nightmare Before Christmas. This is just some random Shower Melt, Peppermint Shower Melt um, tablets that I found um, at like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx. I also finished two skincare items. I finished the 111 Skin um, Night Cream. This is like a $300 night cream, fucking ridiculous. And then I finished a travel size of the Tatcha Deep Clean Cleanser. I also finished a bunch of foil packets. I did finish four of these Moon Teeth Wipes. I finished one of these honey moisturizing foot masks, um, these turmeric facial mask, two of these random eye masks. I finished two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these beauty bio eye masks. I finished both of these patches, uh, sets of good patches. I finished one, two, three, four. Eight of these Healthy Hydration Ulta Eye Masks. I did actually end up getting another packet of these. I really enjoyed these. I ended up getting another packet of these um, recently, so I picked up another pack. I'm not, that's not, I'm not adding them in, but I did pick up another pack. I finished four of these Not Your Mother Hair Masks and three of these Glow On Fifth Beauty Sheet Masks. So I was able to finish 33 foil sample um, foil packet type items. I'm going to calculate the math on what my empties are for the first quarter, add that to my chart, my current total, and then we will go on to PR and gifts. So for <clears throat> quarter one, I was able to add 17.6 um, beauty bank points for a total of 59.75. I actually, now that I think about it, I do have two more items to add, but I'll add them in for the next quarter because um, I'm technically not finished with them yet. But I do have the two mascaras that I've been using. As you know, I've said before, I only use a mascara for three months. So I've had two open since January. Um, at the end of March, I will um, end up throwing them into my empties bin because I do not use them after the three-month date. So that will end up giving me 0.5 more. So I have at least 60 points, um, which is a lot. Uh, that is a lot. Uh, but I'm about to knock that down a ton, knock that down a ton. Let me go ahead and move all these empties over, put them in the trash where they go, put them into the, um, project pan bins where I need them for updates. And then I will grab the items that I received as gifts or PR. Okay. So for gifts or PR, I did get a bunch of stuff for my birthday, um, for, Valentine's Day, things like that. I got stuff that wasn't necessarily makeup, um, so I'm not counting that anyway. I did buy some stuff for myself that's not makeup products, so I'm not counting that into my beauty bank as well. I'm only counting makeup products in themselves. Um, so like skincare, hair care, things like that, I'm not going to deduct anyway. Um, <clears throat> but I did get, wait, I got 12 new books for my birthday. I got four new pairs of black leggings. I got a couple new sweatshirts. Um, I got some perfume. I got this really exciting, what I'm going to talk about in the spotlight segment. It was probably my favorite birthday gift of all. Um, so 
everything that I got for my birthday and for Valentine's Day. Um, I did get this little like peach and lily um, like skincare set, like minis. Um, so I got that. And I love cherries, so my husband did get me this cherry little like hair thing and then a shower cap um, so I don't wash my hair all the time, like every day, like ever. Uh, so I did get both of these. And then because I am a lover of cherry, he also did pick up for Valentine's the Valentine's Day the Sweetheart Cherry um, set, the gel, shower gel, the body lotion, and the spray from Bath and Body Works. Um, because I am a lover of fragrance, he also picked up the Vanilla Bourbon um, Hair and Body Mist from Mix Bar. And he also grabbed me the Finery um, Sweet on the Outside perfume. This is a dupe for the Eilish by Philly Eilish perfume. I'm really excited for that. Um, for my birthday, my youngest daughter, sweetest, sweetest kid in the world. I love her. She is so great. She picked me up some makeup she picked out herself. Um, and when I tell you the stuff she picked out is quite hilarious. Uh, so she grabbed me this purple like glitter from NYX in the shade, it doesn't say, violet, in the shade violet. She picked me up two of these duck plump lip gloss plumping. Um, she got the shade cherry spice and nude swing. I'm excited to try these. And then she also picked out these NYX Smooth Whip Lip Matte Creams. She picked out this like teal green and then this like dark purple. Um, we have the shades Berry Bed Sheets and Feelings. I love this. This is so funny because she knows my favorite colors are green and black. And she was like, you need dark colors, mom. So this is, this is what she picked out. And then she also picked me up two eyeshadow palettes. She picked me up two green toned eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop. This is the Sage the Day um, from ColourPop and then the Fresh Greens. So I was really excited to get both of those. Um, for my birthday and for Valentine's Day, my husband tends to spoil me all the time. Um, my favorite mascara is the Tarte um, Lights Camera Lashes. So he grabbed this for me at, Tar uh, at Ulta, um, which is the Duo Pack. And then he also picked me up the mini dream, uh, my dream um, from Natasha Denona as well. And then for Valentine's Day, he got me the new Hyper Light from Natasha Denona and the new Valentine's Love Pat McGrath. And then he picked me up the Rare Beauty Enlighten. I have been wanting this forever and it's always sold out. I was really excited that he was able to find the shade that I wanted um, at a Sephora. So that was everything that I got for my birthday and for Valentine's Day. Let me show you the books that I got. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, if you do know, you know. Um, I, I'm a reader. I'm a huge reader. I read roughly, it was a little over 500 books last year um, in 2023. And so I love to read. I love books, Kindle, audiobook, physical books, that type of thing. Um, so for my birthday, I always send out wish lists. I have a list together. For makeup products that I want, book products that I, or book items that I want, skincare that I want, that type of thing. I have a huge list that I send out to people who do buy me gifts, um, which is how my husband always knows like what I want. He always buys me what I want. He always knows what to look for, shade and all. Um, but it was really great. So my husband also got me a one hundred dollar gift card for my birthday um, slash Valentine's Day to Barnes and Nobles. And with that gift card, I was able to pick up some books. My mom actually was like, hey, what do you want? So I was like, oh, give me some books or whatever. So I sent her my book wish list, and she did send me the whole set of the selection series. I haven't read this, so I'm kind of excited. I know it's about a princess. I'm assuming it's like Queen Elizabeth, the crown royal themed. I know this is a, a young adult like, series, um, but I'm really excited for this. This is the whole set. But with the gift card, I was able to pick up some books for myself. So I did pick up the whole Stalking Jack the Ripper set from um, Carrie uh, Maniscalco. She is kind of like in partnered with um, James Patterson. I love this set. This is a really good true crime reenactment, like young adult type of series. Um, it follows, it has like murder, mystery, little bit of romance, not a lot of romance little bit of romance um 
it is such a good series. I really love it. I checked this out from the library two years ago, read it in a week, and then I'm finally excited to actually physically own my own copy. I also picked up four more books. I picked up book two um, from the... Uh, Ninth House series called Hellbent. I grabbed book two for the um, the Dark King, which is the Rebel King. This is corn. This is a corn book. I'm adding K instead of a P. This is corn. Um, also corn is this book Still Beating by Jennifer Hartman. I'm really excited. I've seen this one all over TikTok. I really wanted to read it. And then I picked up a um, Tale of Dark Romance. This is Gothicana. I have been wanting to read this one for so long, but I cannot justify ever like buying it because I'm like, oh, you have so many books, you need to read other ones. But like, look at the pages. It's so pretty. The purple edges. Oh. And it's the only one I bought in hardcover. I'm a typically a paperback girl, but you know, you know. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So yeah, that is everything I got for my birthday and for Valentine's Day. Minus the thing I'm going to talk about the spotlight segment i have one more thing i want to talk about um but yeah i'm gonna go grab everything i bought myself everything that i'm not gonna deduct points for first and then everything i will deduct point points for afterwards so you put all this stuff away and then i'll be right back okay so everything i did pick up for myself i'm going to show you now i did grab some new skincare items um i was missing a couple of things that i needed in my collection um that i didn't really have i didn't have a lot of cleansers i had like oil cleansers and like cleansing balms but I didn't have like actual cleansers and I hadn't gotten the I hadn't picked up or hadn't received the peach and lily set yet but I did grab another pack of these Ulta healthy hydration um, eye masks I have really been enjoying these I do really like these these are the cloth type ones kind of similar to the skin Iceland ones they work really well in the fridge keep them cold for about 20 minutes and then put it on your eyes I really do love these these are like 22 bucks. I also grabbed, um, I keep, mine keeps going missing. I'm assuming one of my daughters. But I picked up another like scalp brush um, for like when you're in the shower. And then I also grabbed a um, satin um, pillowcase, eye mask, scrunchie set as well. Um, I did get the beauty, um, the Betty Boop Glam Light Collection. I did get a few things from those, but I'm not counting the mirror as a point. Um, the makeup items I am, but I'm not counting the mirror as a point just because I'm not. If you don't like that, I'm sorry. Leave your thoughts in the comments below, but I'm not counting the mirror as a point. And then I also picked up four skincare items from the brand Pharmacy. I picked up the Clean Bee, um, the Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. I picked up the Honeymoon um, Glow Body um, AHA BHA Refresh Re Resurfacing Serum. I picked up the Clearly Green um, Cleansing Balm. And I picked up the Honey Halo Creamy Moisturizer as well. So these are the ones that I'm not deducting from my point values. These are things that I just bought because I wanted them skincare wise. I'm not going to deduct skincare. Um, and then I'm not going to deduct like hair care products, that type of thing as well. Let me move all of this out of the way so I can show you what I will be deducting from this one. Okay, so I did kind of go a little spin happy a little bit just because it was my birthday, it was Valentine's Day, and that's what I do. Um, but I did, as I said, I did pick up the Betty, some things from the Betty Boop collection. I picked up the palette. Oh my God, so cute, little sweetie. I did pick up the palette, and then I picked up the lip kit. Um, the lip kit has two items. It has a lipstick and a lip liner. So this will count as two points um, when I take it away, or when I take points away. I also picked up the Reckless Romance from Beauty Bay um, for myself. I'm really excited to try this. I know Caitlin has already done a review on this um, and a look on this, and I... Would love to see her do like a smoky eyeshadow, like a hardcore, like black, dark, smoky eyeshadow with this. It'd be really pretty. Um, this is not necessarily makeup, but this is a skincare product that I would use with conjunction with makeup. So that's why I picked it up. 
I have been loving and using the Supergoop um, Glow Screen Sunscreen, so I thought I would try the e.l.f. version. Um, this is in Sheer Champagne Shimmer. Um, and then I did pick up some of these Impress um, Kish Lashes. These have no glue. You just put them underneath your... So I figured I would try that. I did pick up the Essence um, Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. I really do enjoy this powder, especially come summer. And I like that it's a huge pan for like five bucks. I grabbed that. I also picked up the new LA Girl um, Glow Envy um, set. This is the blush, bronzer, and the highlight. These are like a putty to powder type formula. I picked up all three of these. And then I picked up a new Wet n Wild Blossom Glow Highlighter. I don't know what I did with mine. I'm sure one of my kids stole it, so I grabbed a new one for myself. And then because I have been loving the Physician's Formula Diamond Dust Powder, I think this is a highlighter, but I use it all over my face. I did grab another one of these. I did grab another one of these. Um, I'm really enjoying this. This is kind of just a backup to have in its place when I'm finished with the other one. Essence did come out with um, a... New Lash Princess, the brown mascara, and the primer. So I did pick up both of these. I also picked up from Essence the um, Cherry Heartcore like, Lip Balm Oil. I love cherries, so you know I had to pick it up. And then from Essence, I also grabbed the Danessa Myrick Flake Dupes that they have. This is in two shades. They have, what does it say? Shade name? Galactic Vibes and Cosmic Feelings. These are supposed to be dupe for the Danessa Myricks ones. I like the Danessa Myricks ones, um, so I figured I would try these $5 dupes as well. I picked up from Revolution this um, brow powder. I've never used a brow powder, but it comes with the stencils, and then you just kind of like boop, 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 boop. I picked this up in dark brown. From Flower Beauty, I picked up two of these like chrome pots. Um, in copper and topaz these are like a cream to liquid like cream shadow um, I picked up two of these and then lastly I picked up one of the elf glow lip oils um, in the shade jam session so yeah that's everything I picked up let me tally this up and I will give you the new total so for quarter one I did bring in for myself that I bought, I bought in 21 new products, um, which is a lot. Um, so that brings our total beauty bank budget down to 38.75. So we're actually less than what we initially started with for the year, which means that I'm going to need to step up my empties game. I have about six products that are really close to being empty, which I'm super excited about. Um, so that'll definitely help raise it up for quarter number two. But yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know how you think I did for my quarter one beauty bank, how I did on my empties, how I did on what I bought, what you think of some of the stuff that I received as gifts and that type of thing as well. I'm going to move on to the spotlight segment. If you want to stay, you're more than welcome to. If not, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time. Okay. So for the spotlight segment, I want to show you guys something that I think is the coolest thing in the whole wide freaking world that I got from my husband. Um, I have really bad anxiety. I don't talk about my, my life very much. Um, I was in the military um, for almost 10 years, and I have really bad PTSD and anxiety and stuff like that from some of the stuff that I have been through. And then just the way that the world is today, I do suffer just from a general social anxiety. Um, so YouTube is kind of like a confidence builder for me when it comes to things that make me anxious and like putting myself out there socially, that type of thing. But as someone who struggles with anxiety and things like that and like the need for control, I tend to reorganize and rearrange and all that type of stuff as a way to kind of like hone in on my anxiety. My husband bought me something to kind of help me with that so that I'm not up at 3 o'clock in the morning rearranging my living room um, to kind of like field the anxious feelings that I do go through sometimes. And he bought me an anxiety bookshelf. This 
has been a game changer for me when it comes to kind of like helping like control and fix that emotion and like the need to kind of like do something with my hands and like my brain to kind of like zone out. Um, this has been awesome. I have trapped glare. Basically what it is, it's a hundred, it's a bunch of little bitty books in this tiny little bookcase. It does like pop open so you can, um, rearrange them and all that type of stuff. Um, I will put the link down below. Um, there is a discount code as well that I will link as well. Um, but basically what this is, is when you're feeling anxious, all you do is you fuck it up, right? You fuck it up. When you're done fucking it up, you can open it and put it all back together. So obviously I'm going to go fix this because now I'm feeling anxious doing that. But this is really exciting because I will sit here at the computer doing homework, watching YouTube, and I will just be rearranging my bookcase and making it beautiful again. This is awesome. I do love this. This They have a, a mini version of this, which I believe is like one shelf. They also have a medium version, which is two shelves, and then they have the large one. The large one, I believe, is $100 um, with discount. He bought it on sale. There are cheap ones on Amazon. I do not recommend those. If this is something that you want to buy, I 100% recommend buying it directly from the company website. Um, I have seen a lot of bad reviews for the knockoff ones that are on Amazon for 30, 40 bucks. Um, that the books bend, that the glass, the plastic glass, plastic plexiglass, plastic glass, whatever, um, it has cracked and broke already. That the books are not the same size. This one is great because everything is uniform. Everything fits perfectly. Everything has a place and a spot for each individual item. I really do love it. So let me know what you think of this. If you pick this up, let me know. If you have this, let me know. And I really hope that you guys may consider getting it if you really do struggle with anxiety or just the need to constantly like, you know, you know the no, you know the no, you know the, you know the feeling, right? So yeah. I, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed the spotlight segment and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Again, if you liked today's video, give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing before you leave and I will see you guys next time.